Good day everyone, my name is Dorcas and I'll be taking the class on the uses of psychometric tests. So at the end of this lecture, it is expected that students should be able to explain the uses of psychometric tools, you know, in selection, placement, diagnosis, and then referral. Psychometric tests are used for selection of candidates for professional and, you know, and other special schools. So in school, psychometric tests are also used for placement into various career options, for diagnosis of areas of academic difficulties, and for vocational counseling of um, school pupils. So now with selection, with the increasing industrial revolution in contemporary time, the structure of an organization has changed. The structure of most organizations have actually changed calling for dynamic changes in processes. So the way things are being done in the past is not how it is being done now. The high demand for highly, you know, specialized workforce and skilled nature of, you know, work in an organization call for appropriate talent, you know, to increase productivity. So finding suitable candidates have always been um, one of the challenges for employees and many different um, approaches have been taken to attract, to screen, to train, and to retain skillful employees. One of the recent developments, you know, in the recruitment of qualified candidates is, is psychometrics. It's one of the tools employees now use to screen, to attract, to train, and to retain skillful employees. Though the knowledge of psychometrics you know, psychological testing system help to identify desired qualities and, you know, screen candidates for appropriate job positions. Such testing system, you know, have existed for centuries in various forms and have been used with various degrees of success. In organizations, there is no fixed, um, generally accepted or let's say standard selection procedure that is at present used by every organization for recruitment or selection processes. You know, a selection procedure may be fair, simple, or very complex, depending on the nature of the organization or the task for which the individuals are applying for. You understand? So, and the methodology which the human resource personnel wants to adopt, it depends on the job the person is applying for, the methodology the HR person would want to use, you know, and how, whichever way they want to go about selecting their candidates or selecting their employees. There's no fixed way, there's no rigid way to saying this is how it's being done. It is the call or it is the responsibility of the organization, hmm? the job the person is applying for. For someone that will be applying for, for example, in an organization, you're recruiting for... For example, in the International Psychometric Center, you are recruiting for a psychometrician and you are recruiting for probably a librarian and you are recruiting for an accountant. The, the level or the things they will be exposed to will be different because each job is more technical than, than the others. The psychometrician is expected to know a lot more about psychometrics than to know more about accounting. So what, because it's a psychometric center, the whole focus will be on the psychometrician than every other part. It's not, it's not that every other part of the organization is not important. We're just saying the level, you know, you know the, 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 complexity, the complexity of the job or depending on the nature of the organization, you know, depending on the procedure they want to use, they want to adopt, and also depending on the HR person, so there's a vast majority of employee selection programs which are based on the successive, you know, order technique. This implies that to be hired, a job applicant must successfully pass various screening devices. There's a, there are several stages, you know, before you be selected finally for the job. Psychometric tests can be of great value in employee selection because of this objectivity and validity of procedure. This is because depending on what the job description is, you know, psychometric testing can measure 
a number of attributes including the intelligence of the individual the critical reasoning the motivation you know even the personality of the person so what psychometric does is way beyond just um, um picking candidates it also goes further to know about their personality what motivates them you know they will do they'll take an iq test their intelligence level you know how critical they reason and every other thing for example if you're trying to employ someone as um a, a receptionist in your organization because the person is the first contact everybody that walks into the door of your office you know would meet you cannot employ someone who is not friendly or someone who is not relatable so this test or this um, what's it called yes this test would help us to say okay this person did well probably in a rela in relating to with people you cannot just employ someone who frowns their face or someone who is shy or someone who is shy it's not their fault that they are shy but someone who is shy can fit into some other jobs compared to being a receptionist so that's what basically the work of psychometric test does know who and what fits into whatever role each of them are applying for so um psychometric aims to provide measurable to provide measurable and objective data that can provide better all-round view of a candidate's suitability it provides an all-round view of a candidate's suitability how suitable the candidate is for this job they are applying for some organizations often make use of psychometric tests to screen large amounts of candidates at the start of recruitment drive you know they need it to screen out screen out if the if the if the if the applicants are so much and you are confused on who to pick and who not to pick so this test can also be introduced to screen out a lot of people and then you'll be left to the selected few you want to work with so we go over to placement. Placement, yeah, in organizations, job placement is the last stage, you know, in the recruitment stage. Having selected successful job applicants from the recruitment and selection stages, the next step is to place employees into the different departments they are going to be suitable with or the way, where each department they'll be working with. Like I gave an example of accountant, psychometrician, or librarian. Everybody has different departments. So this job, this um, psychometric tool is used for placement, you know, which is the last stage of recruitment. Having selected your successful job applicants from the recruitment and then the selection stages, the next step is to now place them in different departments. Psychometric tests could also be adopted to select the most befitting department for a job applicant. Yes. In other words, psychometric tests do not only screen job applicants, it also assists to check the strengths and the weaknesses of job applicants. Understanding the strengths of a job applicant gives the opportunity to know what department to fix such employee for instance when a job is advertised to fill a marketing manager position it is expected that a successful applicant must be someone who is sociable must be someone who is outgoing must be someone who is who easily mixes with people must be someone who do not carry a, a hard face all around the place must be someone who is ready who loves to talk there are some people who do not who do not love to talk the person if you are employing someone as a marketer the person must be relatable must be approachable must be friendly must be willing must be someone who loves to talk because you have a lot of talking to do when you're marketing the product you have a lot of convincing to do in sound i'm saying so it must be someone so if they you know understanding that part of the job would also help you to select who fits in to that particular job this means that for such an individual to function well as a marketing manager he or she must have high level of extroversion an extroverted person person is someone who 
doesn't keep to themselves they are extroverts an introvert person keeps to themselves so for you to be able to fix in this person and say okay this person is going to be our marketing manager simply means that the person has a high level of extroversion the person's an extrovert simply put you know psychometric tests also make it possible to identify the level of extra extroversion in your applicant and from the pool of job applicants through administering a personality test skill however if this is not ascertained the recruited individual is bound to fail as a marketer if the person because there are times when people might even pretend that they are sociable or they are extrovert just to get the job if the person do not do well of if, if, the, if, 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 if it is ascertained that the person did not do well huh the person may, may fail as a marketer and do not get me wrong the person can do well in some other field than being a marketer you understand so we go over to psychometric test and diagnosis psychological tests are useful you know in clinical setting for examination of the mental health state of an individual Psychometric tests are also utilized in identification or detection of brain damages or intellectual deficiencies. This tool, this test, can also identify, can also identify when there's a problem with the brain or where there are, when there are intellectual deficiencies. It means the person is deficient intellectually. You know, different parts of the brain function to control different aspects of behavior. Low performance on specific psychological tests can be used to infer area of the brain impairment. In schools, psychometric tests act, assist in identifying cognitive and learning disability among students. It is also, you know, it also assists in identifying special students having difficulty in concentrating. While there are some students who do not just know how, they find it hard to concentrate, you know, in class. They find it hard to concentrate when they are being taught. It can be a part of their brain that is damaged or probably they are deficient in some areas. So these tools, these tests would also help you to identify what the problem is. There's this movie that I don't know if you've watched it. It's called like Stars on Earth. This Indian guy, whenever he's giving um, mathematics or probably English, social science or whatever, these, the numbers on the book begins to fly and turn into artistic design artistic drawings in front of him and then they kept beating him in school his teacher kept beating him at some point his parents i'm sure they wanted to give up on him but until one teacher came in and saw that he had more ability artistically is he has more ability to be an artist he loves to draw he loves to design things that was how this guy was delivered so it took someone who saw beyond, oh, this guy is not intelligent, oh, this one doesn't know maths, oh, this one doesn't know English. It took someone who saw beyond that to identify that the guy had a problem and then they now helped him to discover himself and embrace what is comfortable in. And that was what took him all around the world, it took him all around India and all. So what I'm just simply saying is this test would also help you to identify learning difficulties, you know, people who do not concentrate in class and every other thing. It could be anything. So this test would also help us to identify. So psychometric tests, like we said, is also used for referrals. Psychometric tests allow for diagnosing issues a student or an employee is passing through. For instance, if a student has been um, diagnosed with having a form of learning disability. Such a student could be referred to a school or to a special school 
or a clinical psychologist for treatment or placement in special classes. Like the boy that I just mentioned now, his parents will have to take him from that school to an art school. I know people who, from the start, all they wanted to do is art. So they just go for it from the beginning, and they did well in it. So people, all they want to do is fashion designing, and they went all, all out for it, and they did well in it. Some people, they just want to do music. So it, it takes you on identifying that there's a problem. After you've identified the problem, then you refer. You understand what I'm saying? You identify the problem and then you refer. If you have students who are having difficulties in some areas, you know, after they have been diagnosed with having that form of learning disability, such students could now be referred to a, a clinical psychologist or, you know, for treatment or be placed in a special class. Also, when an employee diagnoses with, um, in, in their employee, um, employees employees who have um who are having probably emotional disturbance um or whatever issues that is going on in them in their lives psychometric tests could easily be could easily identify what the employee need at that point to be balanced same could also be referred to for training because in some organizations some employee may feel that they are not giving in their best or they do not have enough knowledge to achieve what they've been asked to do on the job which can you know because if you're not meeting up if you don't have enough knowledge to do the job you've been paid to do and then they keep giving you queries they keep firing you your superior keeps saying you are you are you are a waste of time you don't know anything and all depression can set in so when the person start feeling moody and they start keeping to themselves, a psychometrician can identify the problem and say, okay, what is the problem? Is it that we, you know, help you out of this emotional disturbance? Or if, if the person now opens up to say, because I am not good in this particular aspect, I am not good in these areas, and I wish I had more knowledge, the psychometrician can then advise the organization to say, can you take him for training, expose him or her to more training, to be able to do well on their job. Because for some people, that's what we call job satisfaction. For some people, if they are doing well on their job and they are being praised, you know, it just helps them to do more. It, it, helps, them, it, it helps them to give their best to their job. So this kind of thing is also very key. The psychometric test you know after you've identified the problem of the employee then you refer solution to whatever it is going on in their lives and then you get a better result at work and probably if it's a student a better results from whatever they do thank you for listening bye